Hey everyone, here it is. I'm finally doing a video of my current military vehicle model collection. And right now we're in my garage because it's the only place I could fit all these. <laughs> I have a lot more by the way, this is only some of them. I'll be showing you the rest of them later in this video. And if you wanna see a more detailed view of most of the models I'm gonna to review today, I did do individual videos on a lot of them. So go ahead and check out my YouTube channel and subscribe if you haven't already, cause I'm gonna keep the reviews coming. Also, if there is anything that I show you today that I haven't done a review of that you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Okay, so first off, we're gonna go back in the studio and I'm gonna show you some of my smaller scale models. So here's some of my smaller scale models, and it's mostly 172 scale and 132 scale. It's a mix of 21st century toys, elite force, forces of valor, and even Matchbox. Believe it or not, Matchbox made some really good die cast model planes in 172 scale. I'll get more in those later. And then obviously here I have some that haven't even been unboxed yet, and I do plan on unboxing these in the future and doing reviews on these. All right, so I also just got this new desk. Let me show you something cool. Which brings me to the sponsor of this video, FlexiSpot. This is the Kana Pro Bamboo Standing Desk with the dual motor lifting system. And it can raise and lower about 23 to 50 inches. If you get tired of sitting, you can just press a button and it'll take you up to the standing position. And I was honestly looking for a desk that was wide enough for me to actually review my models when FlexiSpot reached out to me. So it's actually perfect timing. The one I have is about 72 inches long by 30 inches wide. So it's actually really perfect for my wider shots. They do have different sizes and colors you can choose from on their website. And it has a natural bamboo strip top, which is rated for 275 pounds. So if you have anything, you want to put on here that's pretty heavy you don't need to worry about it the motors are super quiet which i was actually pretty impressed with i was not expecting them to be that quiet to be honest with you i have had this table for a bit and i've been able to play around with it and i'm super impressed i love the option to be able to extend it and lower it like right now i can get to the exact position i want it so if you'd like to purchase one of these go ahead and check out the link below in my video description and it'll also get you 15 dollars off so i'm going to start with the ones in the box this one here is an M16 multiple gun motor carriage and it's branded as MotorWorks when it was sold in Walmart, but it's actually Forces of Valor. And you can tell because right here, this is a Forces of Valor branded version. And this is the Snow Camel one. And then to the left of that, we have a Humvee with the tow. And then over here, we actually have two Sherman tanks. And this one, I actually had two of them, so I took it out of the box. So you can kind of see real quick what it looks like. Pretty decent detail. And then right here, this is one of the only ones that I have that's not die cast and it's a 132 scale still. It was exclusively sold at Target, and it's pretty cool. I haven't seen any other 132 scale strikers. So on this side, we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. This is a 132 scale US Amphibian Jeep by Forces of Valor. This is actually a pretty cool model, and you can see it came with a figure too. Then moving over here, we have an M115 8 inch howitzer by 21st Century Toys. This one's not die cast, but it does have pretty good detail. And then underneath it, we have a Jag Tiger, another 132 scale by 21st Century Toys, not die cast. Over here is a Martyr, and this one's a German Tank Destroyer. I really like this one, and I'll hopefully I'll be doing an unboxing of this one soon. Underneath that one, we have a German Tank. This one is die cast, and it's a pretty cool vehicle. It actually comes with a figure as well, and a couple accessories. And this one was only $14 new at Walmart when they actually had them. And then last, underneath here, we actually have a UK Infantry Tank, Mark II. I love the paint on this one. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but it also comes with a figure and a lot of accessories too. Okay, this one's pretty cool. This is a 132 scale German flat gun, and it's in die cast. There's a ton of little details on this one, and it does extend down, but right now it's in the towing position. It also came with these two figures. And right here, this is probably one of my most favorite vehicles I've reviewed yet. This is a brand new Forces of Valor German Sturm Tiger in 132 scale. This is a die cast, and it is solid. I mean, you can't really hear that because the microphone's facing the other way, but it's basically a mortar tank. It had huge mortar shells, as you can see here, that were self-propelled. And inside, what makes this one really nice is inside all these hatches open up here. You could see the engine and everything. And then these hatches open up. And this is the inside out version. I'm just gonna show you real quick because I have a full in-depth review of this one on my channel. So make sure you check it out. You can see the mortar shell in there. I'll get that later. But um, this one is one of my favorites by far. This is a pretty unique vehicle. This is actually a 132 scale M7 Priest. And it was designed as like an infantry support. 
tank and it was built off the Sherman chassis here. And this is a 105 howitzer gun. So this is some of my Forces of Valor 172 scale diecast plane collection. These are really, really good models. I mean, they kind of look like the Hobby Master in a way, but they were a lot cheaper. And you can still find them today on eBay, but inside here, you can see each one of them comes with a pilot. It's kind of hard to see right now, but, and then they have a lot of different configurations and accessories you can use. And then right here, this is a FW190. I think it's the A8 version. Right here is a P51 I have. I actually weathered this one just a little too much. <laughs> it didn't come from the factory like that. But look underneath here. I mean, look at the landing gear compartment. Ton of detail. And you can actually see the engine in some of these. I'll show you that in a second. This is a Stuka. This is a 172 scale Stuka. Again, die cast, so they're pretty heavy. I mean, they're not light. I forgot to show you real quick. So some of the Forces of Valor planes actually showed the engine. So if you pop that off right there, you can see it. Okay, so for those of you that are interested, here's what one of the boxes looks like of the Forces of Valor planes. This is a FW190A8 one, that one right there. And on the back, you can actually see they made a lot of different planes. They're kind of hard to find now because they don't make them anymore. They're discontinued. I definitely want to get that B25. So hopefully soon I'll get that one and be able to review it. So this is another one of my favorites. This is a 132 scale Dauntless by Elite Force or BBI. And I love the paint job. I mean, for a 132 scale, they did a really good job. And it's a dive bomber in World War II. And you can see they even included the big bomb in the middle. And this is just a lot of details went into this. Even in the pilot, you can see here, used detailed really well in the cockpit. And I'll probably do a better view of this one later, a review in the future. This one I got came from eBay. It didn't come with the rear gunner, the original rear gunner or the gun. So I'm pretty sure that's a German gun. And this is probably an American tank driver. But anyways, I glued it in there and it looks pretty good. And this is a 172 scale die cast F16 by Hobby Master. I just did a review on this one, so I'll be posting it soon. So be looking out for that in the future, but it is solid. I mean, it came with a ton of accessories and bombs and loadouts. So we'll be getting to that one soon. This is another cool model by Forces of Valor. This is one of their brand new ones. It's a 148 scale Chinook and it's die cast in plastic. I really like it as well, of course. I did do another video. I just haven't posted it either. So be looking for that one soon. So 21st Century Toys not only did 118 scale, but they did a lot of 132 scale. I just have one of them here, but this is the actual ME109 or BF109. And it's a really cool model. And it did come with a pilot and the canopy can open too. Okay, so this is a really cool collection I have. It's actually the Matchbox 172 scale die cast plane collection. They made a lot of World War II planes. And this right here is only half of them. I think they made a lot more. And I'll show you a box here just for those that are interested. I accidentally came across these. I, wouldn't even, I didn't even know they made them. But on the back, you can see some of the other models they made. A lot of good detail, very good paint. And they were relatively inexpensive. I think I paid like $20 a piece, maybe even $15 a piece. But they have a really good paint job, really good base. And this one here, Lieutenant Colonel William Dunn, 15 victories. They even did like a pilot commemoration. And then right here, you can see each one also came with a pilot. So pretty detailed. And this P38, I haven't seen a lot of 172 scale die cast P38s, but this one is amazing. Let me try to take the stand off. There you go. And this die cast is solid. I mean, I wish you could feel it, but it's extremely heavy and durable. And I think I only paid like 20 bucks for this one too. You can find them on eBay every now and then. And I thought y'all might like this. I took an extra Spitfire I had by Matchbox and actually put a motor underneath and I put a battery inside so the prop actually spins on its own. And it is independent of the stand too. I took apart the die cast top and bottom and put the battery behind the pilot. So this plane's actually pretty important to me. This is a Hobby Master 172 scale die cast T6 Texan. And the reason why this is important is because I actually got to fly a T6 Texan and do aerobatics when I was in Florida visiting. It was really cool to be able to fly a Warbird. And Hobby Master did a good job at doing a model of it. But the only thing is they didn't include pilots and I really like it when they include pilots, but still pretty cool. And I do, I will probably be posting a video of my flight in the T6 Tex and I'm actually editing it now. And I think that'd be a really cool video for you guys to see. And this is my 132 scale F4 Phantom by BBI or Elite Force. They never made a 118 scale, unfortunately, but I really am glad they made this 132 scale and the armament was really good and the pilots that came with it and the cockpits are really detailed. You can see my video. On it, I did do a video on this one too, but another really cool model by Elite Force. And I'm also about to do a video on this MiG-21 by Hobby Master. This is a diecast 172 scale model. All right, so we're back in my garage and I figured I'd start with the most modern jets I have in 118 scale. So in the middle here, we have the 118 scale Harrier 
by Merit, also known as JSI. And this is probably the most detailed model out of these jets. It was more of a model as a collector versus a toy. These other ones are made by Elite Force and they're more aimed towards the toy slash model collection. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the F-18. And this is made by Elite Force also known as BBI. And again, they did really good detail on this too. It's not as good as the Harrier, but it's pretty good. The paint job looks really good. This is actually the Operation Iraqi Enduring Freedom version. Next, we're gonna take a look at the F-16 by Elite Force. And this is probably one of my favorite jets. I love the F-16. And they did a really good job of the paint job on this. The armament's really cool as well. They gave you some bombs, AIM-7 Sparrows, and also Sidewinders. So I definitely recommend this plane. All right, so now take a look at some of my World War II 118 scale collection. So these are some of the 118 scale helicopters I have and I do plan on getting a lot more. So I wanted to take a quick second and show you guys something really cool. These are one six scale tanks by 21st Century Toys and they do actually roll and they sound like tanks when you roll them. 21st Century Toys did make a lot of one six scale vehicles. So if you guys want to see some more reviews of these in the future, go ahead and shoot me a message in the comments below. All right, so that about does it for my current collection. Thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll stay notified when I post new videos. And I do plan on growing my collection, so make sure you stay tuned.